All right, so we get to talk about Mr. Dana White once again, and we get to talk about the UFC. And um, it's just hilarious how they treat their fighters, man. But um, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson was scheduled to fight Michelle Pereira at UFC 291. 174. 174, the official weight for Michelle Pereira. Three pounds over the welterweight weight. But Michelle Pereira missed weight, and he actually came in at 174, 174 pounds as over the welterweight limit. And Wonderboy has faced a similar situation like this before. 174.5. So as you guys can see, Wonderboy's been down this road before, guys. He's been down the road, you know, before he had a fight there until five years ago, went to Liverpool, made weight, showed up, and what happens there until misses weight and not only does he miss weight guys here's the thing about when fighters miss weight it doesn't matter to the ufc the ufc still wants the event to go on and you have to be this warrior or this gangster that decides that you want to take the fight and just go with the results right there's a stat out there that i don't know if anybody knows but six people haven't made weight this year and all six people have won you guys heard the stat that dana white said at that time and wonder boy still took the fight knowing that that stat was live and well at that time and what happened it became seven and oh so wonderboy went on to lose that fight Darren, and there until went on to um you know end up getting a title shot off of that fight he ended up getting a title shot and what did wonderboy get wonderboy had to actually still go back behind the rankings and actually uh fight he, he wasn't able to just move on from that there until fight or the ufc didn't bless him in no kind of way what did he have to do after that he took a fight versus an unranked Anthony Pettis, got knocked out. What did he have to do after that? He had to fight with Sente Luque, Jeff Nilso. His career wasn't like just, oh, we're gonna take care of you since you know the guy missed weight. They don't do that. You know what I'm saying? They only they only gonna take care of the guy that ends up winning the fight. And like I said before, um, you know, Darren Till won that fight. And then what happened right after that? He ended up getting a title shot. And um, you know, Wonder Boy deciding not to take this fight against Michelle Pereira was very smart. I mean, he had nothing to gain in this fight. Um, he's fighting number 15 ranked. He's 40 years old. He's ranked number seven. So if he loses to number 15 ranked, that pretty much is the end of Wonder Boy's career because there's no clear path back to the title. Um, so him not taking the fight made sense. But for the UFC to not even give him his show money is actually ridiculous and it's actually really sad. I mean, we've seen stuff like this happen before with fighters, guys. I mean, look at Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson... Um, he already competed for an interim championship way back in 2017 versus Kevin Lee. And interim championship means you're supposed to get an undisputed title shot. But what did they do? Tony gets injured. They strip him of the interim championship and they give the fight to Conor because they're, they're just dirt bags. That's how the UFC is. It's a machine, but they're dirt bags when it comes, you know, when it comes to the fighters. Um, you know, Tony gets stripped. Um, he ends up having to take a fight versus Pettis on the same card that the undisputed championship belt is being fought for because we're going to just make Conor McGregor just fight Habib when there was just a worse matchup for Habib, right? Or easier matchup, I should say. And then from there, Tony just had to keep fighting. He had to keep fighting. It's not like, it's not like they said, okay, Tony, after this, you're going to, you know, you're going to get your shot. Tony had to keep literally fighting after that. Guys, like Tony had to literally keep fighting after that. So what did Tony Ferguson end up doing? He took three more fights after that that was not for the Undisputed Championship. And yes, it's going to be the fighter's fault too for accepting these fights. Like, just because the UFC gives you these fights doesn't mean you just blindly take them. It doesn't do anything for you. So, Tony Ferguson ended up fighting, you know, Anthony Pettis. He won that fight by stoppage. Fought Donald Cerrone. He won that fight by stoppage. You win, a, you, you, you win an interim championship. Then you get two stoppages in a row. You would think the UFC would say, okay, this guy has to get a title shot, but no, what do they do? Because Habib Nurmagomedov flies away to back to Russia during the pandemic and all this crazy stuff was happening. What, what does the UFC do? Oh, here, Tony, take the interim championship fight again. So, I mean, it, it, it's really disgusting what the UFC does to the fighters. It's so, so disgusting because you can end up like Tony Ferguson where you take these pointless, pointless fights, right? And then all of a sudden, you can end up going on a losing streak. And then all of a sudden, they get to make the decision whether or not they want to resign you. And it's, they're probably not going to resign you. So for Wonderboy to be smart and not take that fight versus Michelle Pereira because he's he's suffered a defeat off of that already. The same weight miss, 174. It's like deja vu all again. And you guys want Wonderboy to take that fight. And then because he decides he doesn't want to take the fight, all of a sudden, he can't get his show money because he's in a different position. 
It's not like it's not like CJ Vergara versus Vinci Salvador. You know, Vinci Salvador missed weight on the same card he weighed in at 128. Uh, Vergara still took the fight. That's different circumstances. Vergara's not ranked. If he wants to take that fight, whatever. It doesn't really do nothing for him anyways with the win. So it didn't really matter what they did. But when we start talking about ranked guys, it gets a lot different. So I just had to talk about that. Very, very, very insane that the UFC is like this. But I mean, we know how Dana White is, man. He's a he's a dirtbag. You know what I'm saying? He's really a dirtbag. Um, and I have nothing against businessmen, right? I understand how businesses operate. So the show must go on for sure. But you know, to penalize the fighters for being smart because you guys can't find a different re late replacement fight. I mean, if we're going to, you know, really think about it in from a logical standpoint, they should just have backup fighters for every fight at that point, right? They should just have backup fighters for every fight at that point because the sport is so brutal. So if you guys, you know, are worried that some, you know, a fight might fall through, have backup fighters and have the fighters sign the contract for that, you know, for those same backup fighters. Maybe the fighters get to train a little bit more it's a different topic for a different day, but um, this is disrespectful to Wonder Boy to not get his show money. And we see what happens to guys that take fights they really shouldn't take. Um, look what happened to Tony Ferguson, you know what I'm saying? And he's never going to be the same again, obviously. So shout out to Wonder Boy for being smart. Dana White, you're a scumbag. UFC, you guys are scumbags. Yeah, you guys, you know, have a monopoly on the MMA community. You guys have the best organization in the world it doesn't change the fact that you guys are scumbags you know what i mean like to treat the fighters like this it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense at all um you know so i hope one day that the fighters can get a union but right now it just looks like that's far from happening so drop your comments down below let me know what you guys think about this and um yeah make sure you guys like comment and also subscribe guys we're like three subscribers away from um 500 if i end up if you guys end up seeing this video by the time i have 500 subscribers thank you so much for 500 now let's get a thousand See you guys in the next video, man. Peace.